Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we are going to talk about the top 10 most popular tractor attachments of 2021. I think there's going to be something for everybody on this list if you're looking for another idea on how to outfit your tractor, so stick around. As always, we're proud to be sponsored by Boro Wheel Spacers. If you're looking for a stability solution for your tractor, feeling a little tippy side to side, check out Bora, made in America and a lifetime warranty. And if you enjoyed today's video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. You have something to add to the conversation? Leave a comment down below. If you want to see more tractor videos, hit subscribe. And if you want something for your tractor, the stuff we talk about in today's video, check out goodworkstractors.com. Well, I don't know if you guys can see that in the background, but we have some deer hanging out. A couple does came down from this way. A decent buck right there in the sunshine too. But for today's video, we're gonna talk about the top 10 tractor attachments, the most popular that I sell by volume or by quantity of 2021. And the point of doing this is to kind of give you an idea of what is popular, what can be useful for a lot of folks in a lot of different applications. Maybe they're hearing about it on forums or from friends or family members or other folks that have these same types of attachments. So maybe it's worth looking into. All right, to have a little fun, we're gonna go ahead and rank these from number 10 all the way to number one. If you have an idea of number one, hit pause and leave a comment down below. The aerator or the core plugger is gonna be a very popular attachment. A lot of folks are using compact and subcompact tractors, not only to mold their lawn and to use the front end loader, but they wanna do a lot of yard or lawn maintenance as well. We sell a couple of great core plug aerators, both from Dirt Dog and from Sweepall, but a core plug aerator is an excellent way to help maintain your lawn's health. It's easy to use. You can see quick results in just a year or two of repeated use. And if you're looking to make a little bit of extra money, a core plug aerator is a good tool to have have. There's not a lot of competition out there. It's easy to do and you can see a quick return. Flail mowers in the last year or two have really taken off as far as popularity with my customer base and with good reason. While the downside is they do cost more than a brush hog, there's a lot of benefits such as their compact nature, the ability to offset to the side, the ability to cut down a little bit lower, potentially even mow your lawn along with your field. So finish quality is gonna be a bit higher and some of the hydraulic versions will also allow you to tilt down or up along a ditch bank. Now we sell a couple of different series of the Del Marino flail mowers. The smaller series is gonna be great for subcompact and small compacts. It's going to be a manual offset. It's a lighter unit as well. You have to match the size accordingly to the tractor, not just the PTO horsepower, but the physical machine weight. Because once you start to offset a flail mower, or if you offset any big old hunk of steel, you have to be aware of the amount of ballast, you know, the same way that you put ballast on the back of your tractor to offset the loader when you're picking something heavy up. It's the same concept when you have a big hunk of weight out on the side, kind of in the back corner, you have to have enough machine weight to safely operate. So that's going to be the Del Marino Funny Top series. And for the larger tractors, we offer the Del Marino Centurion series, a lot heavier unit, built a little beefier, built for bigger compacts and small utilities. And it's also going to have a hydraulic side shift and tilt feature. Rototillers for your three-point hitch are proven to be a very versatile piece of equipment, and that's kind of a theme that goes on with this top 10 list in general, because if you can use one piece of equipment for more than one type of project, you're gonna get a better return on your money. Traditionally, I've used rototillers as most of you probably would have, or at least thought of using them, which is garden preparation, maybe food plot preparation. But where you're standing right now was actually tilled down about four inches below grade with a rototiller as we did a lot of driveway prep going through here. We used a tiller in the woods just to see how it would do preparing a trail. If you wanna do some heavy landscaping or regrading of existing turf in your yard, a rototiller could be a great way to pulverize and chop up, get rid of the clumps, the sod, and prepare a good seed bed. As always, you want to size your tiller appropriately to your tractor size as well, typically about the width of the machine, maybe slightly larger. I feel like if you go narrower than your machine, it's going to be a little bit of uh, an annoyance as you start to till your ground and then you have tracks, you know, your wheel tracks that are, are pressing down that freshly tilled dirt. That's kind of annoying. And similar to the aerator, tilling is one of the main jobs that I used to do when I did a lot of service work. I absolutely love sitting on my tractor, tilling some ground, turning it from just kind of a mess to a nice clean prep field for seed. If you're looking to make a few extra bucks, you know, a tiller is a good way to get a quick return on your investment. Grapples in general are easily one of the most popular tractor attachments that we sell. We sell all sorts of versions, sizes. We're happy to help fit the right size grapple to fit your machine. A lot to consider when you're buying a grapple, so make sure you watch that ultimate grapple guide video that we did last winter. It'll explain all the pitfalls, all the extra costs that you may not be thinking about. 
Now, if you want to avoid all the extra cost or installation process of all the additional hydraulics, you can get some electric options as well. WorkSaver offers a mini grapple that is going to be available in a hydraulic or electric version. And I've also heard a rumor that HLA is coming out with an electric version of their grapple as well for a little bit bigger machine. However, the simplest of all and the most popular of all is going to be the Westendorf Brush Crusher. That is a completely mechanical system. There's no extra hydraulic or electrical connections that are required. Now we primarily sell four different models of the Brush Crusher. Three of those are going to fit the John Deere Quick Attach and one will fit the Skid Steer Quick Attach. It's such a great idea and the best thing about it is you don't have any other connections, nothing else to put on your tractor. The same way that you would take your bucket on and off the, the way that you would separate it from the loader that's all you need to do to hook up a brush crusher and you get to work so that's why they're so popular because the ease of connection the ease of operation and the lowest cost it's tough to find cheap tractor attachments or accessories, but this next one fits that bill pretty well. So whether you're looking just for a nice way to upgrade your tractor, maybe looking for a gift for Christmas or a birthday, you wanna check out the mirrors that bolt onto all the John Deere loaders with a few exceptions. Mirrors are a great way to have some added versatility. So whether you're driving down a road or maybe you're doing some brush hogging or some tilling or you have some other three point attachment on, you don't wanna constantly be looking around, turning and tweaking your back. You can just look in a mirror, see what's going on behind you. Again, you need to have a loader from John Deere that has a hole in the top of the loader mast. Most of them do have it. The John Deere 3E series I know does not have that, so pay attention for it. But another nice add-on to go along with the mirrors are gonna be these mirror bracket extensions that maybe they're a foot or 15 inches long. They allow you to get the mirrors up a little bit higher, a little bit further out, make it easier to see what's going on around you. So those mirror brackets can be purchased from mudscustoms.com. They're one of the GWT Discount Club participants there. You order from their website, you get 5% off of your order they have a lot of other products there too with tie downs and steps and just check them out a lot of cool things over there if you want to get more information on the GWT discount club that's free for you guys it's just a list on our website of all the participating vendors you go to their website you see what you want to buy you enter a code you save some money I make a commission it's a win-win I expected the Thatcher to climb up this list in 2022, but it was very popular yet again here in 2021. A versatile attachment, maybe as versatile as they come, so many applications, relatively cheap. You know, these ship in a five foot long box, nine by nine inch dimension, so just a long skinny box, puts together in about an hour or so, ships UPS ground right to your house, but so many uses, you can pick it up, it's lightweight, it's easy to handle, it's great for your lawn, it's great for a gravel driveway, it's great for grading trails, great for raking up leaves, just so many different uses for it. It's a great attachment, a handy attachment to have that doesn't take up a lot of space, it's easy to see, it kind of speaks for itself why it's so popular. Okay, we're going to take a moment just to talk about an honorable mention. You know, this is a new product for us, and so that's why it hasn't made the official list. I have a good feeling in 2022 it's going to be on there. But the GWT Versa Bracket and the Versa Bracket Bundle, along with a bunch of suitcase weights, is proven to be well worth the investment. I preach a lot about safety on this channel, and for good reason, right? I've experienced some close calls myself, nothing too crazy, but it's a very dangerous, a very uncomfortable and unsettling feeling if you don't have enough ballast weight on the backside of your tractor. And for me, it was one of those types of investments that is kind of hard to justify at face value, right? Because you're spending a chunk of money on something you can't really do any direct work with, right? You're not doing any work with a, a big old hunk of weight that's on the back of your tractor. But what that weight is doing is allowing you to be more effective, whether you're using your front end loader or a grapple or a set of pallet forks when you're lifting something up, or if you're gonna be pushing snow or plowing or doing something else where you need to have traction with your tractor, those rear tires that put the power to the ground. No matter what you're doing with the tractor, ballast weight is going to work to your advantage and let you be more efficient, let you operate more safely. And so we came out with the Versa Bracket, which is not just a weight rack, right? It's got your built-in two inch receiver on there. It's got chain hooks on it. It's got a chainsaw slot as well. And the reason behind all that is to make it as versatile as possible, give you as much bang for your buck. So we sell that in a kit. The Versa Bracket, along with eight suitcase weights, we put them in a crate, ship them right to you. If you already have weights, you can buy just that Versa Bracket too. But the point being, think about spending some money on something that maybe doesn't allow you to do any direct work with it, but allows you to work more safely and efficiently. Pallet forks are just a staple at Goodworks Tractors and essentially any tractor dealership that you find. They are so handy. They are relatively affordable compared to some of the other tractor attachments that are out there. 
many times guys are going to use those in place of a bucket in place of a grapple they're just going to leave them on their tractor on their front end loader more often than anything else pallet forks are very versatile very handy for a variety of applications things that you just don't want to lift in general it's easy to just get a pallet or some kind of little platform set whatever it is you want on there move it around with your tractor it makes life so much easier again they're a pretty cheap relatively cheap investment if they can kind of take the place of a grapple if you need them to in certain scenarios as well so while i would wouldn't say that they are mandatory for every tractor owner if you're looking for something to add on and you're just not sure what it is consider looking into pallet forks i doubt you'll regret it now it is totally unsurprising at least to me that snow pushers made the list not snow blowers not snow plows snow pushers we've talked a lot about snow removal equipment but snow pushers in my opinion are the way to go right Again, I like simplicity, I like ease of use, I like versatility. And snow pushers just require you to take your bucket off and put your snow pusher on. There's no hydraulic connections, there's no angling, there's no moving parts. There's very limited wear surfaces as well. And they handle light fluffy snow, wet heavy snow, two inches deep, a foot deep. You can back drag with them, pull snow away versus a snow blower where you really can't do that so much unless you get one of those pull types with a back drag on it. But the point being, it's a pretty cheap investment for snow removal equipment. It gives you a lot of variety for whatever mother nature is going to throw at you. And for me, when it's freezing cold outside and things can go wrong with shear bolts or chains breaking or moving parts just doing what they do, I like the idea of not having anything to worry about. It's a hunk of steel there. Again, wearable, replaceable edges that you're going to know well in advance if they're going to have to be replaced. For me, a snow pusher is my favorite snow removal tool, and a lot of you agree. Okay, this is another GWT product that we are selling now. This was the first year for it. Started taking pre-sales, I guess it was back in January and started shipping in March or April. But the stump bucket, the mini stump bucket to be exact, was a big success. We're really proud of it. You know, it's one of those products that took a long time for us to develop. It's not the only stump bucket on the market. We've never said it was, but we wanted to take the features of everything else that was out there, put it into one bucket that was better suited, better designed for small tractors, for subcompacts, for small compacts. We have it rated up to 32 horsepower. A big thing was a lot of the other buckets out there were just too long, just too big front to back, which can put a lot of excess torque, potentially twist your loader frame, or maybe even just limit the ability to use it because of the lack of hydraulic power on the smaller tractors. So we took that into consideration. We added on a lot of other great features, a sawtooth edge, replaceable cutting edge, AR400 steel for that cutting edge too. You know, it's John Deere quick attach or skid steer quick attach, has a chain slot in there. Again, we're about versatility, bang for the buck. You know, you can trench with it, you can dig out trees, stumps, but you can pull posts with the chain slot or digging those out. It can even help with re-landscaping, ripping out that old landscaping, digging holes for the new stuff. This is an item that's light enough for us to ship UPS ground. We just wrap the heck out of them, slap a label on them, and they ship right to your door. Now far and away, it wasn't even close by a volume or quantity basis was the Spico Quick Hitch. Now I think part of that is because it is less expensive compared to some other tractor attachments or accessories that are out there, but I think it really speaks to the pain of connecting three-point attachments to the back of your tractor. Nobody likes doing that not even the toughest most rambo guy that's out there it's just a pain to deal with those attachments are awkward oftentimes they're not sitting on perfectly level ground it's just very challenging to manhandle and move those around a lot of the turnbuckles that are on these tractors are a pain to work with even those that have the telescoping links are still not always the easiest thing to do so if you can make that process easier the spico quick hitch solves that problem and the reason that quick hitch in particular is a little bit above the others, in my opinion, and a lot of you guys too, is it doesn't require bushings. Now, bushings are something that all the other manufacturers out there, like the John Deere iMatch is a prime example, require, which is a big brass fitting that essentially slides onto the pins of every tractor attachment that you have, and it's gonna stay on there. You have to get a set for each one. And those are now 40 to 50 bucks a set. I saw a set for 53 bucks the other day. And so what that does is it takes it from a category one size pin to a category three. Why? I don't know. But the Spico E-Hitch avoids all that cost. Now Spico does make traditional quick hitches that use the bushings, but the E-Hitch does not use those bushings. It's a direct pin fitment to a Category 1. And similar to a lot of those other items that we sell as well, these ship UPS ground, the brown box truck. We just wrap the heck out of them, slap a label on it, and ship it right to your door.
All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for the top 10 most popular tractor attachments that Good Works Tractor sells of 2021. Now, if I were to make one more guess at any other attachment that has a chance to crack into the top 10, it would be the land plane. We've sold quite a few of those this year, and I have been having a blast using mine. I think it's such an easy tool to use compared to a box blade. We're using it for driveway maintenance, and we've got an 1800 foot driveway out here that we installed. We're actually not done. I got to keep adding more material, but it's just been so easy to smooth things out, to level it out, to crown, to grade, to take the potholes out. It's just fantastic. So check out a land plane. You can kind of compare that against a box blade, make your own mind up, but that has a chance of making the list in 2022. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the scenery out here. It's absolutely beautiful this time of year. It's fall, it's October, late October. We had some deer out behind us, some sandhill cranes above. You can hear the geese in the background. We're having a great time. So if you did enjoy the video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Leave a comment down below if you have some thoughts on this video. Hit subscribe to see more. And if you want something for your tractor, anything we talked about today, or even more, check out goodworkstractors.com. Thanks again for taking the time to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.